Alright, BFL JQ, this nigga here is the most weirdest nigga I used to think. I used to think he was the most weirdest nigga. But not weird in a bad way, but like, I really got him to blame for it. My whole spiritual journey, like, it kicked off with him. He say a lot of stuff that, like, might, might go past your head and be like, bro, what is you talking about? But some shit he didn't hit me with that I just kept with to this day, so I fuck with bro. He usually be off with his girl, this on some distant shit, but and we know, we know, bro, love. And, um, he good breaking bread. Every time I break bread with him, he always pay back. Like, he good for that. And he don't really like taking money from people. And one thing about him, he gonna struggle on his own. Him and his girl, they gonna struggle on their own. And when I say that, I'm not like, like, he gonna, we gonna let him struggle. But, like, he usually keep it to himself. So, we, we be getting him right. Um, he real spiritual in a way. Like, he always bring new ideas to the table. Some shit we don't want to be hearing, though. But, um, yeah, he responsible for me kicking off my spiritual journey and some, some tools that I use, like, see more attention and um, grow my hair, like, and it's your strength. So, um, shit like that. But um, it's all love his way. He keep it solid. He don't be communicating like that, but he keeps solid. So I fuck with bro. And everybody, everybody just got their own little thing, like, um, him, he open-minded to a lot of shit. And he don't like jobs at all. Me and him, we both do not like jobs. We won't accept that as a way of life. Like, we know that's not what we want for our future. To just be working somewhere that's gonna replace us within two weeks if we die. So like, me and him, we, we could chop it up and we go back and forth with shit like that. But yeah, he good, he good with me. So yeah.